Today I'm going to place more items on the wall of my video game room, and thought I'd share the process with you. I have on standby numerous items including posters, stickers, and a clock. Some of the posters I will be opening for the first time. So let's take a look around the room. There's already plenty of posters, but a lot of bare walls still remain. Some of that bare wall will become shelving in the future, but for now I want something there. So let's open the new posters, which I ordered off eBay. eBay and Etsy have many people selling game merchandise, and most likely it's without the consent of the game companies. However, since the sellers haven't been stopped yet, I think maybe the companies have turned a blind eye. Of course, some of this merchandise is based on decades-old games, so maybe just no one cares. So this one is a giant reproduction of the Gradius box for the NES. It is my favorite game artwork, and I can honestly say the poster looks better than I expected. I thought since it was being enlarged, the image would be fuzzy, but it looks incredible. The other poster is the Bubble Bobble box art for the NES. It's kind of hard to show because the poster wants to stay rolled up. Next up are some smaller posters, buried under layers of packaging. These are also copies of box art. It's the three Castlevania NES games, the Ghosts and Goblins NES game, and the Tron and Television game. Next up is a clock. I've actually had this in my room before, but just not hanging on the wall. You can purchase this clock off eBay or Etsy, but I must warn you it's very cheap quality. All the seller did was print and cut a circle and placed it on the inside. I've had a lot of problems with the hour hand slipping, but I'll be attempting to repair it behind the scenes of this video. It's the only Contra clock I have, so I'm going to hang it and hope it keeps good time. Now for some more authentic items, which I've had stored away for years. A Sonic Advance poster, which most likely came from the game. A Magmax poster, which I think I've owned since the NES days. A Genesis X-Men poster. A sticker that came with the Genesis game Crewball. A Doom slash Mortal Kombat poster. I'm going to have a tough time picking between those two. An Atari Jaguar bumper sticker. Not sure how I got that. And lastly, three stickers, which I got from Etsy. Now let's get to the fun part. I'm going to hang things up and show you the before and after shots. There's a big blank spot over here in this corner. The Bubble Bobble poster fits perfectly. On this wall in the center of the screen, I want to place the Gradius poster. So I'm going to relocate some posters to make room for it. And there you go, the poster just dominates that wall. For this section of wall above the handhelds, I was able to fill in things nicely. I even found a spot for the Jaguar sticker. Above that closet, I put the Castlevania posters. There's still a lot of space up there though. And on the side, I put some stickers. To the left of the door, I placed the X-Men poster, and below it, a relocated Gran Turismo poster. Beside Metroid, I put Ghosts and Goblins and Tron, and then the Contra Clock, which I believe is fixed now. I now have more of the walls filled in. 
I was so impressed with the box reproductions that I went and ordered some more. So the video game room is finally starting to feel complete. Thanks for letting me share. Check out these videos if you like this nerdy kind of stuff. Also, be on the lookout for some major videos, which will be hitting this channel in a not-so-distant future.